Yeah, 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 Friday today, yes, Friday can the rockets, and I'm here, I'm here to a rocket. Hey, Kinder Rockets, how you doing today? It's me, your friend Violet, and you can see today is Friday, March 5th. Yeah, today is Friday, March 5th, and today we got a great, great thing in store for you today. We're going to read a book where there's a cat in it. You may think it's the cat in the hat, but it's not. Yeah, and then I want to hear you try to read some of those pages. Isn't that awesome? All right, well... Kinder Rockets, it's time to turn you over to Mr. C. Remember, next week is parent-teacher conferences week. And see this week here? We're not going to have any small groups because there's parent-teacher conferences. Your mom and dad will get a message. And uh, so, yeah. Anyways, happy Friday. Good job, Kinder Rockets. Keep up the great, great work. Here we go. Woohoo! Thanks so much, Violet. That was great, 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 great. All right, well, it's been super awesome, um, Kinder Rockets, celebrating Read Across America a week. Now, we've learned a lot about Dr. Seuss. It was his birthday, but there's some other great books. And so there's another great book about a cat, which I know you love. And again, I want to hear you read a few of these pages, okay? So let's see. This is a cat whose name rhymes with Schmeet. Schmeet the cat. What name rhymes with Schmeet? Hmm. <gasps> Pete the Cat, Pete the Cat, right? We've read this book before, but I know a lot of you, you really like this book. So here we go. We're gonna read this book, and this is Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. So we're gonna really remember when you read, you use the pictures to help you read the words. So the art is by James Dean. He's the creator of Pete the Cat, and the story is by Eric Litwin. So here we go, right? And I know... You, you probably read this book before. So what does it say? Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. Okay. Pete the Cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much he sang his song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Now this is a page you're going to read. So remember, what does this say? Think about this picture and think about the words you know on this page. Oh no, Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did his shoes turn? Red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing a song. Everything is cool. Now you're gonna read this page too. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Oh no, Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did his shoes turn? Blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. And remember when you read, use your arrow and seesaw so I can see the words you're reading. Don't just sing, read with the arrow. Oh no, Pete let, stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did his shoes turn? What color did it turn his shoes? Brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song, Groovy. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Remember, what color are your shoes here? Brown. Oh no, Pete stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? White, but now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. He kept walking along and singing his song, rock and roll. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. Squeak, 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 squeak. The moral of the story is no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song because it's all good. All right, isn't that a wonderful story? And so, remember, you're gonna share your favorite part. You're also gonna read a few of those pages where Pete says the different um, shoes that he loves, right? 
I think my favorite part of the story, and remember you can go back, is this part. Uh, nope, sorry, not this part, silly teacher. My favorite part of the story is, not this part, not this part, where is it? Here it is, this part. I like this part of the story because he has all four different color shoes on. So that's why I like this part of the story. What's your favorite part? Remember, don't just tell me your favorite part. Tell me why it's your favorite part. And let me show you the other activity we're going to do. Now, of course, it is, we love our cat in the hat, and we love Dr. Seuss because he really helped get a lot of young kids to read, right? And so, one of the things you're going to do here is you are going to actually paint yourself as a cat in the hat. So I'm gonna go to uh, this slide right here. See, there's the picture of the cat. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, uh, hit the camera, I'm gonna take a picture, right? And let me see here. I'm gonna take a picture of me, getting a good picture here. Let's see here. Hmm. You wanna be in it with me, Jameson? Okay. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, Oh, it's, I'm not doing a good job of taking my picture here. One, two, three, cheese. All right, now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself kind of look like the cat in the hat. So I'm going to make my picture look. So maybe I should have... Can I be thing two? Thing one? Maybe. Yeah, if we have time, maybe you and I can do this later. For now, maybe I'll just do myself just because of time. But maybe the first thing I'm going to do is come here, Jameson and paint my hat and if there you go and paint my hat like that and remember if i can use my eraser too if i want to all right now i need some what color stripes white stripes right because i'm looking at the hat over here one oops not red stripes move it down white stripes one two okay the other thing i noticed the cat hat is kind of like a white face so i can do a white face if i want to right I could put like a little bit on my cheeks if I want to. You kind of decide, right? I could, I can do as much as I want to, but I am definitely gonna put on like a red bow here. Look at the bow here. So red bow here, big bow, red bow here. Oops, I don't wanna do it on Jameson's face, so I'm gonna go undo. And if you wanna, oops, let's even try to maybe lower it down a little bit. Maybe we'll do this, Jameson. We'll give you a little hat too here, right? Thing too. Yeah, thing too. Maybe there's a little bit better. It's hanging down here. The bow. There's this red bow. Maybe I want to have uh, some whiskers. Watch out, buddy. They need to be able to see. Maybe I'll have some whiskers here. Anyways, you're basically drawing, right? You're drawing yourself to look like the cat in the hat, right? So here I'm going to put you some whiskers here, some whiskers here, okay? All right, and so put a little nose here. I'm going to put a little nose on here. Maybe you can do this again and be thing too. So I'm going to be Cat in the Hat. I'm also going to put a few of the Pete the Cat pages in here, and I want to see you read them. You don't have to read all the pages. Read as many as you can. I want to hear you reading. And, of course, I can't wait to see your favorite part. And so with that, Kinder Rockets, I can't wait to see you do a great job in your morning message. Keep up the good work. Happy Friday. And remember, I'm a kinder rocket. I'm kind. I'm safe. I do my best. I'm a kind rocket. Happy Friday. Bye-bye.